Facing their culinary skills in Nottingham City Centre. And they weren't the only ones. Oh no, Sarah Blizzard joined them as they cooked up a storm. Today, today sees the launch of the very first food and drink festival here in the centre of Nottingham. They've got a very special celebrity chef here, James Martin. People are queuing up already to see him. Let's see what he's got on the menu. Start to finish, how to make a cheesecake in about two minutes before the bell goes off. So this is a first for Nottingham, and you're the gentleman that's opened the show today, James. No, I'm just a warmer pack for Sat Baines, you see, but it's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic, and it shows you how popular these festivals are, because it's packed already outside, and you've got five days of it, it's great. Now, I'm going to have to do a cook-off very soon with Richard Spur from BBC Radio Nottingham, who yeah. you might have met. Um, what advice can you give me, then? Well, above all else, have you practised it first? <laughs> no, they've not even told us what we're cooking. <laughs> well, then you're in trouble, then, aren't you, really? Richard and I did find ourselves on the stage along with local chefs Dave Horton and Tom Bennett. I'll do the first bit. While I was carefully chopping up my pineapple, Richard was beavering away at his end of the stage as the challenge had now been set. But who would win the celebrity cook-off? Very worried, I'm going to cut my fingers off. We couldn't have done it without our chefs, but now it was down to the audience's decision as to who was going to win. I chopped up that pepper like a, a pro in my book, and I think that their tart is a bit burnt. I think you mean caramelised, Richard, not a burnt tart. So now it was time for the moment of truth. Who was going to get it? Was it going to be the red team or the green team? It's really difficult, isn't it? You know what? I think it's a draw. <laughs> and it wasn't a fix, I promise. Honourable draw. Burnt tart? Was it burnt? Yeah. I thought it was caramelised. <laughs> Time for sport now, and we were graced by the presence of...